Welcome to Gaikoko Gamers, I'm Daryl Benson, and uh, today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 4. Specifically, that uh, Sony seems to be focusing on it now more than ever. Uh, after many, many millions of dollars, actually more than $1 billion lost, uh, again, Sony has finally come to some common sense, which is basically they can't sell a smartphone and they really never will, not to the expectations that they hold themselves to, which is to make profit. Uh, also, they're not going to be selling many televisions because they're way too expensive for what they are, and you can get a cheaper Samsung for the same quality or even a much cheaper Vizio for, well, the same quality. Uh, gone is the day that basically Sony had any type of clout in its name. You know, it, when I was growing up, I mean, shit. Uh, you you just didn't have good stuff if you didn't have a Sony stereo and a Sony set of speakers and a Sony Walkman and then later on Sony Discman. And, you know, basically after the iPod, uh, that kind of all changed. And certainly after the iPhone, that really changed. And it's just been kind of like a downhill uh, for them ever since. Um, so basically they're not going to be focusing as much anymore. In fact, they're going to be getting rid of about 25% to 30% of their resources in each television and mobile departments, uh, which in case you don't know what that means, means uh, not only putting less effort in, but also firing people, unfortunately. Um, and then putting that 25 to 30% uh, more effort and money and jobs to the PlayStation side of Sony because frankly at this point they're pretty much the only part of Sony that's actually making decent money the film studio has been up and down violently and has been doing very well recently their music studio is all but bankrupt Vio's gone uh, the TV studio has been spun to a different company even though it's still Sony it's spun off so basically uh, their stock prices aren't affected by plummets that the TV department is uh, all suffering from and the CEO today talked a bit about how he's considering getting rid of the mobile game plan altogether maybe in the future if this doesn't work which in case you didn't figure that out means no more tablets and no more phones they're already not making laptops, so literally they'd be out. And that's just, that's just really weird to me because, you know, that is Sony. Sony has been doing this type of shit for a long time. And it's just, it's really weird to even think about them being a PlayStation company. I mean, heck, uh, back in the day, I remember when the original PlayStation was released. And um, back then they said that the PlayStation despite the fact it was initially popular, they said, you know, uh, if, if this ever becomes something that even minutely doesn't sell to our expectations, we'll throw away the whole thing. Meaning, Sony at the time was worth so much as a name that they didn't want to go ahead and sully their name by having an unsuccessful product, i.e. the PlayStation, which it wasn't an unsuccessful product, but to get my point, if it had ever even got remotely close to, like, GameCube numbers, despite the fact that that's, like, perfectly sellable and profitable, um, they would have nixed it. It had to be, you know, a top-of-the-line performing product in order to wear that Sony moniker on the front. That badge of honor, by saying it's a Sony product, it had to sell. And it's just funny that from then to now, which frankly isn't that long ago, it's 20 years ago. I, mean, I guess 20 years ago is a long time, but it doesn't feel it, <laughs> for me at least. Um, but, you know, it's just funny how we've gone from, we might get rid of the PlayStation brand if it ever dips in sales, because our name is worth so much money, to now everything that we make doesn't sell. And now we're a PlayStation company. 
In fact, if you want my God's honest opinion at this point, they might as well just spin everything off because the only thing that's netting them any money is the PlayStation brand. And ironically enough, it's not even the whole PlayStation brand. The PlayStation TV is not selling at all. And neither, unfortunately, is a Vita, despite it being a very nice system. I just think that's overpriced, and that kind of scared away developers and customers at the same time, especially in a memory card issue. But we already know that whole story. But yeah, I mean, the PlayStation 4 is selling well enough. Granted, with the huge, giant price drop of the Xbox One and the, you know, recent bout of games that have been coming out for it, uh, the sales on that are actually catching up to the PS4 pretty quickly, very quickly. Um, but, you know, to be fair, you know, Sony is still strutting its shit, you know, right now with uh, PS4, and they're doing a really good job selling units at least, not necessarily making exclusives for this year, or much of next year. But, um, but all joking aside, seriously, you know, they have a hit on their hands, but the problem, the problem is, is that if they only do sell video game systems is what happens if they have a flop? What's up if they have a console that sells like a Vita in the future? What do you do? Um, I'm not sure what the answer is to that. <laughs> Nintendo's been playing with that for a long time. They always have their handhelds, though, to pull them out. Um, but it just kind of makes you wonder. Uh, it's just... You're not going to compete against Microsoft. And I don't really care who you, you side with. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's just a gaming machine. But it, Microsoft has a lot more money than Nintendo or Sony. In fact, they have, like a shit ton more money than Microsoft or than, than Nintendo or Sony. Uh, which basically means that they can just pay their way out of any hairy situation, and that's unfortunately not a luxury that Sony can afford. And I think that's why the PlayStation 4 has not dipped down to 350 temporarily for the holiday to match the Xbox One is because at this point I don't think Sony can afford it. Um but I mean again there's no problem with that but it, it I just think that the shift in ideology for the company is just a little too late. And I don't mean that they're going to go out of business or anything. I just mean this should have been done 10 years ago. And that's something that really is as frustrating as all piss with Sony. Is they, they always, just like Nintendo, frankly, maybe it's a Japanese thing. But they always learn their lessons way too late. You know, um... They needed to go ahead and fix some of this shit a long time ago. I mean, the writing was on the wall. We all knew it back then. And it's just gotten worse and worse and worse as time has gone by, and they keep on pretending like they can pull themselves out. And when you're in a downward spiral like that, you're not going to pull out, you know, the vial line. <laughs> the vial line was shit 10 years ago. It's still shit. Well, but it's gone now, but it was shit when they got rid of it. And it's just like, um,. They need to recognize trends a little faster because, like I said, God forbid that they do uh, have a console in the future that doesn't sell very well. They need to react faster. Um, and case in point is a Vita. You know, the Nintendo 3DS, I don't know if many people remember this, but it wasn't too popular at launch either. Uh, and it was only because Nintendo went ahead and quickly reduced the price, quickly put desirable games on a platform that it actually started to stick. Sony never did that with their Vita. They refused to put the price down, just like they are with the PS4, which I don't doesn't necessarily need, mean that they need to do that. I'm just saying they're not matching Microsoft on that one. They, but they're not... They never helped the Vita. They never said, okay, all right, well, you caught us. We're trying to make way too much money on these expansion cards, you know, uh, memory cards. You know, now they're half the price. They never did anything. At most, they would give you, like, an 8-gig card with a bundle, which it's like, woo! you know because frankly anymore nowadays no one's carrying around carts but it's not you're gonna have digital downloads and if you have an 8 gig card that's not gonna hold much so yeah so that's what's going on with sony right now again very 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 nice to see that they're finally waking up uh albeit just too late um and it's just really kind of sad to see the giant that i grew up with in, in this position um I mean, it's nice to see that PlayStation is still alive and, and well and strong uh, on its fourth generation. That's kind of nice. My, my childhood, you know, gamer in me is going, yay, you know, because, you know, back 
with the old gray PlayStation 1, you know, no one really knew how it was going to stack up in the future. Um, you know, it was really cool at the time, but I remember even well before they announced the PS2, people were like, what are they going to do for a sequel? You know, when the Dreamcast came out, it was like, wow, you know, how are they going to beat this? Um, and then when the Xbox came out with their system, uh, people were a little scared at first too, uh, especially with Halo. I remember a lot of people getting defensive when that game came out, despite the fact that PS2 trunced the Xbox in sales. But, you know, I, I just, case in point, I really think that Sony needs to get better at recognizing trends. Uh, and on top of that, they need to learn to fucking advertise. Uh, many people nowadays don't even know that Sony makes a smartphone. And many people weren't aware that they made tablets in the last couple of years. And it's because there's no advertising. And if there is any advertising, it's weak. Uh, Samsung didn't get to where it is in the handheld market by not advertising. They got there because they had bold, recognizable, rem memorable advertising. The phone's no different than anything else in the market. My Nexus, you know, it is just as good as a Galaxy. There, there's, in fact, it's a lot cheaper and just as powerful as a Galaxy. And it doesn't have a crappy UI on it on top of Android. And I get, you know, Android updates pretty much for free for life on this thing, unlike a Samsung. But Samsung won because of how it promotes itself, and Sony really needs to get better at that. I'll be honest with you, not gamers that are like on IGN, but like a typical gamer probably thinks that Vita's gone. You don't see it on store shelves, and you don't see any commercials. And I, I haven't even seen a single commercial for a PlayStation TV. So that was a pretty weak introduction. I see PS4 commercials all the time. That's great. But, you know, Sony needs to learn that they have other products that need to sell. And if they hope to be more than a PlayStation 4 company in the future, they need to learn to go ahead and start putting themselves out there. But anyway, I'm Daryl Benson. This is another bite-sized episode from Geico Gamers. Please check us out again tomorrow.